what's good everybody on YouTube this is your boy Akil McLeod back with another video and today is Tuesday and as you guys know yesterday the post office was closed so I got a ton of orders to ship out between eBay and on Poshmark as usual eBay orders way way more than Poshmark we have about five going out on Poshmark and about 34 or 35 orders going out on eBay so without further ado let's get into it all right y'all so here are all of the Poshmark orders going out today first up we got a pair of ultra lone peaks these are the zero drops so these are like perfect for outdoor trail running a lot of people really do like ultra sneakers and i've been finding them very very often out here in arizona especially since there's a ton of running trails and stuff like that out here these actually sold for 30 bucks i had these listed for 39 but i got a best offer of 30 so of course i went ahead and accepted that and these type of shoes i usually get them for anywhere between four and five bucks so so this was a decent amount of profit coming in and if you guys come across these ultra sneakers i'm not going to say all of them are worth a ton of profit this one is probably one of the more lower end ones because i've sold some for as much as 60 and 70 bucks used and some brand new ones for as high as 100 so just definitely be on the lookout for ultra shoes just make sure you're doing some more research and typing in all of the different names because certain models sell for more money than others next up we got a pair of nike shocks and this is this to me this is really really dope i picked these up from the nike outlet a little while ago um before quarantine hit and all that type of stuff but these are really dope in my opinion these sold for i believe these sold for 79 on posh i was asking 89 but solid offer came in and of course i went ahead and grabbed that one up so these are going out today i'm going to make sure i put these in a, a nice um shoe box as well just to double box it so that the person that gets these the box would be in tip top shape once they get it and for me like i told you guys before in a previous video if you're gonna if you have the original box try not to tape um tape over the box and put the actual postage label on the box if you can double box it or put it in a bag but make sure that you try to preserve the box because a lot of buyers if you do have the box a lot of buyers do care about that next up we got this pair of pure boost goes and i got these from the adidas outlet uh maybe a few months ago i don't i'm not exactly sure but i definitely had these for a while now these are really dope in my opinion with the black boost on the bottom i had a ton of these so i'm glad that these are finally starting to sell out these also sold on poshmark for my full asking price which is weird sometimes i usually always accept offers on posh but this one sold for my full asking price so that was really dope every every time that happens i'm always super excited about that so i'm also going to be doing the same thing putting this in an extra putting this in an additional box just so that the box is prepared and safe and i always make sure i take off the retail sticker price on those and the last two poshmark orders these are both separate orders but i figured since they're the same things i might as well just cover them together i got these from dillard's um a few months ago i think i spent maybe a dollar and 75 cents each on these shorts and they sold on poshmark for 19 dollars a piece so this is definitely some good profit i still have a ton of of ton of shorts left but at the end of the day i'm pretty sure they're all gonna sell out by the time the summertime is over so i'm just glad i had so many of these so just wanted to give you guys another quick tip i tell you guys all the time that i use the dymo 4xl label writer as my printer and the reason why i like it so much is because it just prints out these labels make it look a lot more professional and these are all poshmark orders so what i was telling you guys before in a previous video in order from the best way for me to do it, I like to take my time with each package. So I will print out each individual label first and I will write down on the back side of whatever the label is, what the item is. And that way, when I'm shipping it out, I just know to just look on the back of the label. And this label here was for the ultra shoes. I'm gonna make sure I don't show this person's address. But by just doing it, by just taking my time and making sure that each package is gonna get you know each package is just delivered properly it just saves time and just saves a headache i know all of us are always so quick for trying to you know save as much time as possible but when it comes to shipping out orders i prefer not to use bulk shipping and stuff like that those bulk shipping options that ebay gives you just so that i can take my time and make sure that i don't make any mistakes when it comes to shipping because that part of it to me is most important all right y'all so as you guys can see all the poshmark orders are good to go right now everything is in a box i got all of these boxes from the usps website and none of these are flat rate boxes not not that it'll matter but these are just large mailing boxes so in case you guys have been wondering how to ship out shoes for poshmark i just like to use the large uh, mailing boxes and in terms of ebay tape for poshmark orders some people don't like doing it but for me i use ebay tape 
for everything. So now we are back to the eBay orders now and first up we got this pair of, I believe these are called Alpha Harachis. These are all over Poshmark right now, all over eBay, but the, the flood in terms of Ross, pretty much over because these were selling for $2.99 in Ross and I grabbed these up immediately. I think I grabbed about four or five different pairs. Some were $10.99, some were $2.99. But these smaller sizes, I believe this is a size 9, this one was $2.99 and it sold on eBay. Um, I, pick, I, I think I listed these on Saturday and it sold on Sunday and it sold for $30. Bucks. Um, not a ton of profit here, but at the end of the day, I picked these up for $2.99 and they haven't been selling for that much. So it's, uh, I knew it's only a matter of time till baseball season picked back up and it, it, this one sold a lot faster than I expected. Next thing going out is this pair of Salvatore Ferragamo leather loafers for men. These were actually in a size seven or six and a half it was definitely a smaller size but these are really dope really good condition and anytime it has this like horse bit collar on here these will always sell a lot better and I picked these up in San Diego for I think five or six dollars a piece but that was just a crazy crazy haul that day I picked up maybe 10 or 12 pairs of Salvatore Ferragamo shoes and these were in really really good condition as you can see the inside still have very minimal signs of wear and the heel was also in really good condition that's two things i always try to pay attention to make sure that it's not a ton of heel drag and just see the overall condition and wear and tear and besides the minor creases in the front these are in really good condition and the best part of it is that these sold for 105 i had them listed for 119 i got a best offer of 105 and i just went ahead and took that and it's just good to see that these are selling because at, at one point dress shoes were selling really really slowly for me but this was a really good sale and i was glad to see it go next up i'll share some of these video games that sold now on saturday saturday night i was had a ton of these little video games all of these games i got for free i remember getting a lot of these from a garage sale and that person just threw them all in and this game was actually brand new and sealed just a minor minor rip and this one sold for 11.99 and i think i priced it way too cheap because it sold within about 20 to 30 minutes so i probably played myself on this but like i said at the end of the day i got it for free so it is what it is Next up, we got two of these uh, Game Boy Advance games. I believe this one is called Midnight Club. This one sold for, I think, $5 or $6.99. And then we had Crash Bandicoot. This one also sold for $10.99. So these were all very, very small sales. I listed about 20 video games that I had just laying around. And I just listed them very, very slowly. And they sold really quickly. So if you guys have any type of video games, whether they're old sports games or any type of video games, just make sure you guys are getting them listed. Because even though they're only selling for you know very small amounts of profits small profits add up so definitely keep that in mind so next up we got four pairs of these nike golf shoes that i just picked up from ross i believe i got these on friday and all of these were 6.99 a piece as you guys can see and these all sold for 50 bucks 50 bucks free shipping so a decent amount of profit on these and the fact that i just purchased all of these shoes purchased them and listed them relatively quickly and they all sold that fast i'm very very happy about that usually these type of sales don't happen that fast but when you got a good product and you priced it correctly it'll fly off the shelves and a ton of other resellers are going to be finding these in Ross especially as Ross starts to open up across the country but like I was telling you guys you just want to make sure that you're getting your stuff up as fast as possible and I only have one pair of these left so eventually I'm pretty sure that pair will get sold but I'm just glad that all four of these will be going out today next up is all of these different golf shoes now i just showed you the four that went out and those were just four items that i just picked up but these are three others that i just picked up as well and this is kind of crazy because i listed so many shoes and i was kind of expecting it to be I just wasn't expecting these to sell as fast, but this is just a tip for you guys. Golf shoes and golf clothes are selling like crazy right now. It's probably one of the few sports that men can actually, men and women of course, that can actually go out and play. So right now these are all going out. I'll put up some of the screenshots of what these sold for. I usually never would pick up Under Armour golf cleats, but in Ross these sales were just too good to pass up. I believe all of these were $10.99. This one in particular was $9.99 and they sold for a decent amount of profit individually i'll make sure i put up all of the individual prices that what they sold for but 
at the end of the day this is something i probably would not have picked up if it wasn't on sale but now i'm going to pay a little closer attention to it especially these um under armor spathe twos these are definitely selling really well on ebay after checking the comp so but thankfully those four shoes the four nike golf shoes were all able to fit in a padded flat rate envelope and i'm going to try to do the same for all of these i'm not so sure about this one in particular this one might be a little too big and i might need to ship this one on um pirate ship but we'll see how that all turns out now here we got this minolta maxim what is this the minolta program 2000 xi flash this is more like a shoe mount flash that you would just put on top of a older camera not sure if these will work with DSLRs, but at the end of the day, this one sold. I'll put up the screenshot of how much this one sold for. Not a ton of profit, but at the same time, these are very, very small items that I like to sell. I think I got this for 99 cents, and this one sold. Maybe it took about two or three weeks for this one to sell. So I've been selling a ton of electronics, as you guys know. And it was one of those things that kind of helped keep the business afloat, kept me building some momentum during uh, a lot of the slower times over the past couple of weeks. But things are definitely starting to pick back up, so I'm glad to see this one go. And if you guys come across any of these like vintage electronics, these older flashes, you definitely still want to test it out. I made sure I used some batteries on this, and I think the test button is right here on the back. So the good thing with some of these flashes, you can just put the battery in press the test button and as long and it'll still flash if it doesn't flash don't pick it up but for the most part as long as you have some good batteries you can always test these out and still sell them on ebay next up you got a pair of sass loafers for women these are these have been in the in the inventory for a very long time i had these listed for 40 bucks at one point then i lowered the price down to 30 and they finally sold i think at the very least they were in the inventory for about nine months now when it comes to sass i used to grab these up anytime i can find it but this brand just doesn't sell as well as it used to so i probably won't be grabbing these up unless i get them for a great deal but for the most part these were practically brand new really good condition sold for 30 bucks and i'm just glad they're gone and next we have this miller light bear tap handle this is the second one of these bear tap handles that i sold i had two of these in the inventory one sold uh maybe two or three weeks ago and i believe this one sold for 24.99 maybe 29.99 but as usual i'll put the screenshot up there for you guys and when it comes to these bear tap handles not all of them sell for a ton of profit but this one in particular was really clean really nice that's what stood out to me and i just took a chance on it and some of some of them are if they're rare if they're vintage they could sell for hundreds of dollars not this one in particular but this is just something to be on the lookout for when garage sales start to come back up and next we have this pair of desert boots from the brand john varvados i picked these up from the thrift not too long ago and i think i spent maybe six or seven bucks on these and these were in really good condition as you guys can see this is the that peace sign that is the john varvados logo so if you see that on a polo shirt or anything definitely take a closer look at it because it sells for some decent profit and these like i said i picked these up for six or seven bucks nothing much and these sold really really nicely so tons of profit in these shoes in particular and i'm just glad that you know people are buying used people are buying brand new now at one point i was really just trying to focus on brand new stuff but if you can get used shoes and they're still in good condition i'm still going to be selling you know used and new because at the end of the day they still sell for some decent profit now speaking of used shoes here's a pair of brooks linear platform running shoes for women i had these in the inventory for a very long time these were actually pretty dirty when i first picked them up and i just threw them in the washing machine so that they can get a lot cleaner and these sold for 30 bucks and i'm just glad these finally did sell because like i said they were sitting for a very long time this particular brooks model um just doesn't do as well but there's other brooks shoes that i sell that sell for like 60 and 70 bucks just not this one in particular and next is this pair of dc skateboarding shoes these are more of like a vintage style and i had these listed for i think 39 and i got a best offer and i don't remember how much i got these listed for i know i accepted a best offer on these but these were also pretty dirty i had to clean these up and originally i wasn't going to grab them up at first but i did run the comps and i seen one sell for like 60 bucks so i knew it was worth it to be picking it up and i grabbed these for five bucks so even though they're not in the best condition somebody that's a, a true dc fan is definitely going to enjoy these shoes and i'm pretty sure they're going to uh, get a lot of wear out of these next now these are going out today they sold for $69.99 and I grabbed these from Marshalls these were brand new without the box and 
I still have two other pairs. The only downside to the two other pairs, the sizes was a little tricky. One was a size 15 and the other was a size 12 and a half. This one was the size 10 and this one sold within one day. So if you guys could find these in Marshalls, once Marshalls open back up and as long as they're deeply discounted, I think these were 24 bucks, you should be able to flip these and make some good money on them. Um, the originally when they were in stores they were like 60 bucks so i definitely wasn't going to try to pick them up for that amount of money but for 24 dollars i'll make some decent profit on these all day long next up we got this pair of adidas d rup running shoes and these were this is a really dope colorway kind of like that parley colorway and this one sold for 40 bucks i was seeing other people have these listed for like 60 and 70 but they were really only selling up for around that 40 to 45 dollar range so that's what i listed mine for and it sold really quickly this weekend so keep that in mind i'm pretty sure these are going to be at a ton of different marshals and ross and if you're trying to get them sold you don't want to ask too much because you'll end up have holding on to these for way too long now this is something else that also just came from marshals i still got the tag on here so i'm going to make sure i pop this off before these go out in the mail but these were 16 bucks and they sold for 50 and i have a bunch of different sizes I'm, i wish i had the box for these but it is what it is this one is in a size 13 and i think i have one more in that same size and buying for 16 selling for 50 isn't a ton of profit but as long as you're doing volume it you know those small profits add up and for me i just like to reinvest all the profit right back into the business so some other people might see this and think it's not worth it to them but for me if i can make a quick 15 20 in profit i'll do that all day long got some air max here air max plus in the the orange and gray colorway these are really dope i had about three or four pairs of these and i grabbed these up from ross and these finally did sell now the funny thing with these is that i wish these sold for a hundred bucks but the comps were anywhere between 80 and as high as 95 so i just priced mine at 95 because i figured if i priced it at 100 it would not sell and this is the last one to sell and i had this for about four months now so keep that in mind if you guys come across these at one point or another they were definitely flooded so i wanted to just price mine a little more competitively but if you can list it for a hundred bucks to save that money on fees i suggest doing that but for me i realized that just to price mine a little more competitively i priced it about 95 and it eventually sold step is another pair of shoes that i grabbed up from marshall's a couple days ago and these are going out now these sold for 40 bucks or 29 or 39 i'm not exactly sure but these i think I, i'm not exactly sure how much i even spent on these maybe eight or nine dollars definitely wasn't a ton of money but i knew these would sell pretty quickly even though it wouldn't sell for a ton of profit for me i was just interested in getting a faster flip and so so i can reinvest that money into the business so new balance some new balance sell for a ton of money this one in particular doesn't the 099 is just not a very expensive model but it's still brand new without the box and i feel and I might as well take a chance on it and it's over within about a day next up we got this tennis skirt going out this one is from adidas and i picked this up from the thrift when i was in san diego and the price on these were 9.95 and i remember that day the yellow tag was half off so i spent five bucks on these and i grabbed about 15 pairs of these skirts and i sold four so far so i've been making some decent money on these i didn't necessarily get all my profit i didn't necessarily get my initial investment back yet but of course the summer isn't even here yet and i sold some of these already and i also grabbed these up that same day i found all of those salvatore ferragamo shoes so at the end of the day i think i did make back my initial investment from that whole uh purchase from that day i just have a ton of these left so i'll let y'all keep you guys up to date and let you guys know when all of these are finally sold out next up we got this pair of pants these salmon colored polo pants and this is something else that i grabbed from dillard's that day um the tag says 29.75 but i spent it was like 90 percent off so i spent just about two dollars and 75 cents on these pants uh this one finally is going out we still have a bunch of these left so i'm happy about that because this is going to continuously sell out throughout the summer but as of right now these are selling maybe about two or three of these a week so for me it's a decent enough pace now these shorts right here also came from dillard's i think these were maybe three bucks maybe two dollars and some change these are from armani exchange and of course i'm going to take off the the sale price 
sticker on there i got a couple questions about that in the past but i always try to take that sticker off and this one sold really nicely on ebay i still have a few more sizes but i mean i'm no i'm in no rush for these to go and i'm not going to lower the price because i've seen the comps were uh just about what i sold mine for so i'm not going to change the price too fast and i'm just going to wait for the right buyer to keep coming along and i believe i have these listed on poshmark as well but i'm pretty sure these will all sell on ebay now this is the last pair of golf shoes going out for the day i had grabbed these up from the nike outlet a few months ago and i had about 20 pairs of these and these have been sto selling slowly but surely and i still have about five or six pairs left and these sold for 60 bucks so i don't have the box for these but thankfully i, I only have size nines and all of these fit in a padded flat rate envelope so just like all of the other golf shoes they're going to be going in a padded flat rate envelope and those are usually cost about seven dollars and fifty something cents to sell so i'm just glad that it can fit and these are going out today next up we got a pair of these adidas top tens in this red and white colorway and i grabbed a bunch of these from the adidas outlet a few weeks back and this is another one of those items that have been selling really well for me during uh during the lockdown i wasn't able to source for more items and the good thing is is that this is a size 11 and a half i had a bunch of these probably 60 pairs of these the size 11 and a half i only grabbed up two of these pairs and this is the first one that sold so size 11 and a half is always pretty tough for me but i'm glad it finally did sell next up we got this pair of baseball cleats and i wasn't going to grab these up at first originally these were um 2.99 and i think i also seen a size 14 but a size 14 i figured would wait would just sit for a very long time and this one actually sold in a matter of days for 60 bucks so this is a really good flip i'm going to try to squeeze this in a padded flat rate envelope as well but when it comes to these baseball and football cleats sometimes i try my best not to just get so excited because i know they're going to sit for a long time even though they're like 50 cents to a dollar but for this one in particular really good amount of profit and like i said only 2.99 purchase price Next up, we got some more Reeboks here, and I usually don't sell Reeboks, but I mean, at the end of the day, it was something different, and I seen them at Ross for a really good deal, so I figured why not let me take a chance on them, and they didn't sell as fast as I would have liked them to, but they finally did sell for 60 bucks, so this was a decent amount of profit on these. I'm going to try to fit these in a padded flat rate envelope as well, and drop a comment if you guys have sold these in the past, because this is my first time selling Reeboks, and I have a few others that I grabbed from Marshalls, so I'm going to add that to the repertoire and see how it sells. Next up here, we got a pair of these purple hyper dunks i believe these are hyper dunk 2017s these were also from ross and these were deeply discounted i think these were either 6 or 7.99 and these sold on ebay for 50 so this is also a really good sale these odd, odd sizes like size 13 and a half sometimes you know they might sit forever but this one sold really really quickly and i i seen some that were priced a lot higher but in when i checked the comms they weren't really selling that well and especially a size 13 and a half that would that's a very awkward size so i'm pretty sure whoever got this is going to be getting a really good deal and it's pretty sure it's a rare size for them to find it so i'm glad they were able to pick these up for me all right y'all that's all i have for today's video so if you guys enjoyed that one don't forget to gently hit that like button for me it definitely helps me out and if you made it through this whole video just comment the word gently it'll let me know that you guys are watching the whole video and that you are a real one so thanks again for all the support and i'll see you guys in the next one peace Give me the strong. Hey, hey, let's go. First back in the day, and so I can't complain. For all the times I pray, carnivores don't come take. Uh, Cause it's popping a pop of tunis, I can't salute it. They raising red flags instead of raising solutions. I'm trying to do what's best for me. Okay, right hands on the wall because it's destiny. First time I own with right hand, man, ain't nothing left for me. I left him, see. Hold me back like elementary What's meant for me?